Hey ladies and gents, welcome to a PC mod tutorial with your host Spoony Pizzas. This is going to be something brand new that I'm introducing to my channel, so how to install certain mods. Okay, so we're going to talk about two patches today that we're going to install. Uh, they are 100% online compatible. So the first is the Evo patch and the second is the Turf mod by Daniel. So the Evo patch contains a Turf mod version 1 by Chuni. Then we have high quality team logos, version one by Alex Bex, tight kit by Makidan14, gold tunes and anthems by Maury D, team chants by Predator002, and small detail mod by Hawk. Like I said, there is a turf mod in that Evo web patch, so check that out, see if you like it first. But to me, I prefer uh, the Frostbite turf by Daniel, but it's just personal preference. So we're going to start off with the Evo web patch. So all you need to do is, if I type it correctly, type into Google. I will be leaving links in the description below to the three parts that we actually need. So just click on this uh, link here and click on download. Now you do have to evade if you haven't got a pop-up blocker. So I didn't put the pop-up blocker on just as show you how to uh, evade all the pop-ups so you just need to click on these links as you're seeing here if you get something like this or it takes you to another screen just click it again until you get a screen that pops up so basically if it opens a new window you're generally in the wrong place so you need to go back to your your previous window click on that link there and then you can click the green download button just here and that will start downloading the Evo web patch. Just close those other windows. So you can see that it's downloading. Next step is to download the Turf mod by Daniel, who's done a fantastic job. So the best link here is the one from Pezpatch. I wouldn't recommend using Pezpatch too much because there is a lot of dodgy links. Um, you know, especially if you're not experienced in IT, you could pick up a virus or whatever, but I'm fairly confident no one no one know what I'm looking for. <coughs> so just make sure you click that get link just there that I sort of wiggle my mouse over. If that Again, if a window opens, just click it again. And if a window opens again, just click it again. So you just keep clicking until you get to this page here. And like I said, I'm going to have this link in the description below. So you're not going to have to, you know, worry about the mods. Then just paste that link that I copied there into your web browser and click the download button. And in the bottom left hand corner, once it says it's complete, that means it's fully downloaded. So that's all good. And then the last one is the DP file generator for PES 2020. Again, I will be leaving the links in the description for all of this. So you don't have to worry too much. But this is just going to give you a demonstration of how I, how I download them. I think the full, you know not rushing or skipping any bits is going to help you um, well certainly those that aren't all that confident so now what we're going to do now is we're going to extract these three downloads so the DP file generator the Evo web patch and the Daniel turf mod so that's exactly that's all you're seeing here so just extracting to those folders I just do this just just for ease of use of this uh, for this tutorial you can extract it wherever you want but so all you do is just copy that file, navigate to your eFootball demo, which is mine is in uh, Steam, and just pop it into the download folder by pasting it in. So right mouse click, get under paste. Once you've right mouse clicked on the file and click copy. Then we're going to do the DP file generator. You just want to run this exe file, click on the path, navigate all the way to your download folder within eFootball. 
where we put the CPK file for the turf mod. There we go. Click on that. You can click on that link there. Because that generates the bin file. And then if you don't click on that, you won't generate the bin, fil bin file. So you have to then navigate all the way back to the download folder. Click on that link. And voila. Done. Just select no download content and just click that button again. I don't know if you need to do that, but I just tend to do it just to be on the safe side. Then all we need to do is for the Evo, Evo web, this is dead easy. You just copy all those files from the Evo web folder to your eFootball, but this time it's the data folder. So make sure you're pasting those into the data folder and then just click overwrite. And then once that's done, we're ready to start the game. And that's all for me, ladies and gents. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.